Hello guys and welcome to another episode of the Massalia campaign here in Imperium Universalis, a mod for EU4. Uh, in the previous episode we did go to war and we did conquered lands. Uh, there's no more revolt risk here because we crushed the revolts. But uh, they'll probably spring up again uh, in... Yeah, it's seven years. Then they'll start back up and we'll have to kill them again, but that's fine. Honestly, it might even increase autonomy here, because right now autonomy is not being decreased whatsoever. Although, I'll, I'll look into whether or not that will be necessary when we get to that point. I don't want to increase autonomy here, though, because I want to get the autonomy as far down as we can, so we can really start making money off this province. That would be nice. Same with this one. I, I mean, I did actually increase autonomy here, but it was useful, because we didn't have to deal with any of the rebels. Let's save us a decent bit of cash. Um... Money really is quite important, uh, because you have to spend a lot more than you think, and you earn a lot less than I'm used to. Maybe I'm thinking wrong, but like, earning once a month as like a 5 province power, that seems pretty pretty bad. What's our force limit now? Is it still at 10? Yeah, it's, it's 10. Uh, like, we need to reach sort of a critical point where we can start just messing up other nations for their cash. Like, I want to invade Corsica, not necessarily to conquer it, but just to humiliate them and to take all their cash. I mean, if this is all the ca or if these are all the troops they have, then presumably we can uh, take them down. But I don't know what kind of army type they have. If I had to guess, like they are italic and they are, um, you know, technologically advanced. Uh, we're better than them. We're actually doing really well in technology. Coring is very cheap in this mod, although to be fair, we have like very, well, we have reasonably poor admin tech, so. Yeah, I don't know, I guess we could go into the um, the ledger and I can try and figure out how many troops these guys have to see if, they, if, in, if an invasion of them would be uh, fine. They have one ally, the um, Lang Lagunoni? Linguni. These guys, who are all the way over here, of all people to ally, this was the people you decided. See, now that's a bit annoying, because I was hoping I was going to be able to invade this guy without having to deal with any of the uh, money issue, or without having to actually fight any battles on land. Uh, because, like, if I have to fight too many battles, then the war won't be profitable, and if the war's not profitable, then it serves no purpose. Like, this guy would be a prime target for an invasion. Thing is, though, we don't have any... Um, don't have any um, Casus Belli, nor do we really have any opportunities to get a Casus Belli, so... I don't really know. Justify trade conflict? Yeah. You have 14. Yeah, you need to have... You need to have 20% in a node, and no one has 20 anywhere now. Well, probably Carthage. They have a decent bit. Yeah, they have 33. Uh, like, the, the problem here is that there are so many... What is this modifier? Golden Summer. When do you get Golden Summer? Can I get Golden Summer? That's a huge bit of bonuses. I want that. Give me. Guess maybe it's a North African thing. Although, I mean, that's not how fucking weather works. Oh, I'm not gonna think too hard about that. Point is, uh, not a lot of nations are earning too much on trade because there's so many nations, you know? That's one of the main issues that we're not gaining cash here is that there are all these like tiny ass nations taking up the trade power. And like all nations gain a certain amount of trade power by default. So the more of them there are, the more the trade power gets split up. So regardless of the fact that we are, you know, definitely the strongest uh, trade nation within this trade node, we, we have a surprising low amount of trade power here. And it doesn't help that the trade node is really not that valuable as well. So yeah, we're going to have to really work on this. We need to conquer parts of, uh, or colonize even parts of Spain and do all kinds of stuff like that in order to boost our trade and you know be able to get buildings that give us then even more money but yeah i think i think conquest will be like the or uh, war will be the main way to get money but we'll need to invade people who are weak uh, such as this guy because i have cancelled my lines with him so uh, we should be able to invade him soon has no possible neighboring province you can fabricate on. Well, why can't I fabricate on this one? What is this meme shit? 
I don't know. I, I wonder though if he has had a round of rebels before. Like, because I, I want these rebels to do their thing before I invade. I don't want to have to fight those rebels. Ah, this is kind of cool. We have a festival for the king of the gods. Festival for Zeus, yes. Let's do that. I have to spend some food, but I just purchased some food from... Ah, uh, oh, fuck off. Provinces who got drought won't produce any food. Ah, oh, fuck off. Really? Here am I spending f fucking... Ah, uh... oh, no, drought! Everywhere! Oh, crap. Oh, shit. Yeah, we have no food now. Guess we are not going to war because we need to spend our money on... Also, these weather effects... Oh, you can't see them from this? We were able to see the weather... Fuck, what, 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 which map mode was it that I was able to see the... Yeah, you can see it down here. Golden Summer. But the thing does not show up here. Because I, I know modders... Uh, ooh, nice. Slaves in the field. Ah, food, yes. Finally we get some f actual nice bonuses for having uh, for having all these slaves. It is very necessary now that we have drought. Yeah, I don't really know. Is there a decision here that lets you... That sort of adds... No? I mean, hmm. Because I've seen modders do this before. Essentially, uh, there's no real way to mod custom map modes into the game but what modders can do is that they can add modifiers so that they show up on the trade map mode and that way you can put um, you can use the trade mode map mode as sort of a custom um, custom map mode so if you want to have a, uh, like Mayu and Taxes 2.0 will for example have plagues that like s that will spread dynamically throughout provinces and the way to see it is through the trade map mode uh, but I don't know why this shit is not showing up. Maybe it's not supposed to show up. I don't know. That would be cool if we could see all the weather effects on the map mode. Because you can see these down here, so... I am not sure what's going on there. Inguini. Uh, is that you? Yeah, nah. I'm not gonna marry you. Marriage is such a... Such a stressful thing. When did I claim? Oh yeah, I guess I claimed that. F oh, we already have a claim on this. That's right. That's why I can't get it. Huh? How how is the food situation right now? Yeah, it's going down, but still definitely want to conquer these provinces. Would be nice if we can take them now before the um, recent revolt modifier goes away from the other provinces we have taken. I would definitely like that. And I, I want to do it quick as well, because I don't... Trading with slaves... Ah. Huh. Yeah, okay, fuck, fuck the revolt there. I think I think I would. I just want to get in here and try and win this war before he gains any allies or any bullshit that'll prevent us from taking these lands. So let's do... Funding of the army. And hopefully this war will gain give us some cash as well. We'll get some loot... If we can kill his army quick, we can immediately start reducing funding again. But we're not that numerically superior, so... It will be a bit interesting to see how exactly this will all work out. But, uh... No, the morale is not quite there yet. Give it some more time. There we are. And... Let's see, do you... Or how how is the food? Oh, it's oh it's back. Oh yeah, we got that uh, slave event. Okay, okay. So food is fine then. So even if we have drought, doesn't seem to cause too many issues. Yeah, all of our provinces have drought, but I guess we don't have as many important food producing provinces, so we don't really lose that much food. Although yeah, we can see that the. Um, goods produ production efficiency is being... Okay, so it's... it's mm, maybe it doesn't kill your food production. Maybe it just cuts it in half. Because that's what it looks like it does here. It says minus 50%. Yeah, it's supposed to be 0 0.6, but it down by 50. So that might be how it was. Maybe I misunderstood the event there. Or maybe the effects are not in line with the event in Democratic Rebels. Is that a thing, really? Are you a tyranny as well. No, you're an oligarchy. 
Hopefully we don't get any filthy, filthy Democrats. That would be awful. Become a Republic? Ugh, I don't think so. Unless they have some meme epic uh, bonuses. Ooh, we can actually call our allies in. But I don't know if I want that, though. Let's see. Do you have any provinces that you desire here? Not really, no. And if I did put one unit here, maybe we can get there before he does and try and save our butts that way. Uh, let's do that. Let's call him in just to speed up everything. So we'll declare war. We'll use those favors. Which is a bit annoying, but whatever. Uh, the war will be for Nikea. And go. So you'll go there and you go there. And hopefully we'll win this. His general has similar... Well, no, actually, we have more shock than he does, so... Oh, yeah, look at that. We caught him without morale. He just... He just got himself quite wrecked. So hopefully the... Our allies will... You know, kill him. Will you? No? You don't feel like that's important, do you? Very well, then. I will do it myself. Alright, so we got that. Very nice. Our strategies are epic. And the memes are good. So yeah, we got that war done uh, rather well. Without really have it, without having to resort to any real um, money spending, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Although, how is the loot? Where's loot? Where's the loot bar? I forget. It's there. So we can still loot, loot this province. Let's do that. Although, do you have any siege? Yeah, he has, a, he has one siege pip. So... I'll put him back to the siege. Wait, what? There's a there's succession a succession crisis in the Seleucid Empire. Seleucid Empire does not exist, my friend. So I assume these are maybe just the scripted events uh, that are support supposed to beat up the Seleucids. But since we are playing on a version of the game that happens to not have, or a, a starting date that does not have the Seleucids, I guess the game is just being a bit confused. So Asia and the Seleucid Empire, but yeah, uh, that didn't do anything. But that that is cool though. It does sort of tell us that the, there is indeed stuff in the game that's supposed to try and mess up the great empires. Although whether that's sort of a generic thing for big empires or if it's a uh, a thing that happens specifically for the Seleucids, uh, that I don't know. Also, really, was it you that hired uh, mercenaries? That's a bit redundant, but sure, man, whatever. Or coalition map mode, but it, nah, it looks like it's all gone away. So, well, the Italians are still a bit salty, but we're we're killing Greeks right now, and the Italians have no sympathy for Greeks. So, or I mean, I should say the uh, fuck. What 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 do you call these memes? Ligurians. Uh, they're Celts, but yeah, Ligurians. We're gonna call them Ligurians, even if it's called Ligures. But I assume those words have similar roots or whatever. So uh, it's fine, I think. I hope. Alright, so this is what I wanted. Now we are finally getting some proper fucking money! 168 ducats. And of course we're gonna completely annex his land, so... Yep, yep, I'm happy with this. And now I really want to check how this actually impacts the aggressive expansion with the Celts. And, oh fuck, the game... Pause. The game is also... It's always a bit derpy when you try and pause during an event. Or a pop-up, I mean. So we can hold the parade... Or not. Uh, you do lose military power, but we're ahead of time, aren't? Yeah, we're ahead of time, so we have we have power to spend. So let's do that. Uh, very nice. We lost th um, you know, four thousand troops, but it doesn't look like it's really impacted us. I don't know who lost those troops. Maybe the these guys did. I don't know what they were up to though. Maybe, I guess maybe the reinforcements were, or the manpower gain were sufficient to deal with the reinforcements. So this is awesome, because now we have this province. So hopefully he did not get too salty about that, because he does have a claim on it. So we're going to try and work on those relations a bit, because I want to keep this guy as a friend. Ah, there we go, finally a province that actually costs a bit. So, I mean, I, I'm saying that as if it's a positive thing, but, you know. Yeah, we completely finished looting this place. Oh, good. Yeah, I did. Did I really put him as an ally? Or uh, as a rival? No, that's not what happened. I had Pompey as a rival, but I... Yeah, fuck, I should have made this guy a rival. That was stupid of me. Yeah, the rival system is dumb. I, I've always sort of thought that. 
Rivals should be dynamically, it shouldn't, well, yeah, it should be dynamically. I find it weird that you have to actually click a button to make rivals. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll think I'll do, those, do this off screen again because I, I always use so much time figuring out who I want to, who I want to rival and whatnot. Now we're actually sitting on some decent military and diplo power right now. It might even be worth it to focus on on admin. Uh, our ruler has a an extra high admin skill, so we do have the uh, definitely an advantage in the other two. So I probably should have done this earlier. Yeah, but we're gonna focus on this to sort of balance it out. I didn't entirely balance it out because of the math, but you know what I mean. Yeah, and the next ruler as well have, has no military. Oh, that's horrible. But that's fine. Uh, we're going to spend it on development, I think. Uh, we might also want to invest in mer mer mercantilism a bit, but I think it's fun to actually develop your promises a bit. So we're going to do a bit here. But what I also noticed is that goods produced is actually increased when you um, when you upgrade your promises like this. So if we upgrade the goods produced in promises that have food, we can make more food. So by doing this, we now have 0 0.1 more fish to mess around with. Actually, no, we have 0 0.2 more because currently there's a drought going on, which is killing that. Uh, there's fish over here as well. So, but there's so much autonomy though. Uh, although, it doesn't look like that's impacted too badly by it. Correct me if I'm wrong here, but... There's a good produ goods produced efficiency thing, minus 94. Not entirely sure what causes that, but there's still a lot of food. But I don't know, let's focus on the promises that are properly, that have proper low autonomy for now. This one has grapes, so we'll, uh, we'll boost development there a bit. I think I also want to boost uh, military power in the capital. Try and get some of that uh, sweet, sweet manpower. And increasing development is something you do so rarely that it's kind of fun to do. Although by boosting that, I'm also boosting the amount of food I need, so... I guess I should be focusing on this Diplo stuff. Although I shouldn't be boosting the capital, actually. I should be boosting these food-producing provinces. As I assume that's going to give us more stuff. So you you will eventually get like a malice for developing unba in an unbalanced way, but it doesn't look like that's going to hit us yet. Yeah, no, the, the malices are equal for all of them. So we're going to turn uh, Tello Martius into a glorious food producing province. We're going to produce that fucking fish. Okay, so it doesn't give you a malice. It, it just gives you, it just stops you from improving it further if you do it too unbalancedly. But this is probably a decent strategy though. Like, just fucking develop your provinces with Diplo to try and get more food. Um, yep, yeah, that sounds like a good plan. That's what we're doing anyways, so... Oh god, rebels. I don't want... Uh, I don't want uh, to increase autonomy in these provinces though, so... Although the... Actually, maybe we'll just do it in this province. It's a very shitty one. And... The fuck you, ah, no, we can't actually do it because the um, the previous owner, the uh, Nikaya people, they did it before we did. It's kind of annoying as well because the the the, well, the bonus you get, you know, the minus five uh, revolt risk, that didn't get transferred to us, so we still have to deal with the the you know the problems and the autonomy, so. I guess letting them have this province was sort of a mistake, but I don't know, I think it worked out. We have a nice little chunk of land here now. Might even want to build a fort soon to try and defend our lands, but... Right now I feel like our army and our allies can defend these lands. I don't think we need to invest in forts quite yet. Damn it, we get this shit again? Why? Why do they refuse to support us? Bullshit. Uh, I don't even have the admin right now to do anything about it. God damn it, I've spent so much money right now trying to get a religious conversion dude. They are in this category, right? I'm pretty sure they are in the admin category. But it seems like this game has added extra extra people as well, so I have to pay I have to kick so many people out. I need to convert these Celtic dipshits. Come on. 
Give me a conversion, dude. Dude, that's the fucking second time I have this moron. Fuck off. Alright, so we have a priest at least now. He only gives uh, national unrest, but it would allow us to take a decision called Disrespect Foreign Deities, which would give us an extra 1%. And I'm not entirely sure. Let's see, how, how does the math work right now? Yeah, the missionary strength is minus 1.5. So that would give us a positive 1.5. This one is minus 0.4. Yeah, so we're not that far away from being able to start conversions. So I think maybe uh, we're going to do it. And I guess what I sort of forgot to mention was that, yeah, we're going to do that. Gonna disrespect foreign deities, uh, but what we can also do is go into policies, and we can focus on culture, which gives us another one percent, and it also gives us another missionaries. So that's neat. Yes, yeah, so all my money's gone now. That sucks. But what are you gonna do? Sixty-six months. Ugh. Ugh. Why does that have to take so long? Oh well. Let's begin work on this. And how does how's that gonna mess up our economy? Pretty badly. Yeah, we are barely making money now. Uh, that is also mainly because of the 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 dude though, like the 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 advisor. Although having that minus three, that's pretty nice actually. Fuck, if we were to increase uh, autonomy here right now, we would not have to deal with the revolt. Ah, I don't know. I think I might just try and deal with it, or maybe what I'll do is I'll just I'll just harsh treat them. Uh, to make them fuck off because and just yeah just do that and then I'll just wait for um, national unrest to go away or Lumiere. and I think we should be able to do that and we should be able to save ourselves from that revolt so let's see if we import how's the food yeah we're, are we actually gaining food I, f I swear we were at 90 before maybe the whole increased development in Tello Martius was a success and we're now actually producing enough fish to feed the feed the people. Our armies, our armies are fueled purely on fish and wine. Uh, I also had to give some land to the aristocrats, so now you know. Yeah, we're now straight up losing money. Yeah, the missionary maintenance is harsh. Hmm, I like gaining that extra power point though, but might have to fire this guy. I think it's just too expensive. We're not big enough yet. Yeah, sorry, dude. But uh, you need to go. Oh yeah, that's also totally gonna... Yeah, now our unrest here is big again. So I guess we'll just have to fight that revolt. Uh, the revolts don't look too big though. Well, 10k, that's... Ooh, I'm not a huge fan of that. Also, we're now gonna get the other provinces into revolt again. So that's fun. The ones we had to kill before. Yeah, this is all scary. Uh, so what is this? Do I have to do anything? Border garrison? No, I don't really want to spend money on this. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, the game is... Uh, I don't know, maybe I chose like a buggy start date because like now the Ptolemaic Empire has a uh, has a succession crisis. But like, the, Egypt, the Egyptians rule Egypt. They're, like, the <laughs> there are no Greeks in Egypt. Well, presumably there were some Greeks in Egypt at this point, but you know, you know what I mean. Uh, Alexander has not been born and he will not be born for quite some time, so the game is being stupid. Alright, so I'm looking at my food here. I just got an event as well that gave me a... I, I celebrated a god, or goddess, actually. Uh, but we're actually gaining food. Look at that. Uh, we were at like 100 or something previously, right? If you're... I don't know. You guys will know if you remember. Uh, but now we're at 120 despite losing like 10 or 15 or something like that because of the festival. So I guess the whole it's impossible to get food thing is not actually necessarily true for this mod. It might be that the problem is that it's very hard for small nations to have food to get food because like if you're one province miner without a province that produces food uh, you're presumably gonna have a hard time like the Voconte here I mean there are two provinces in the miner but they still have no food so I assume having to deal with all of this development uh, will be kind of annoying when you have no food to uh, supply you with but this is really good I mean if this keeps up we might even begin exporting food to get money that way, that would be good. Be like a food producer, because there's no trade value up here, really. So, uh, I doubt that that's going to be our main source of income. Even if it would be fun to build like a trading empire, we just don't have... There's just not enough value. I, I assume like there's much more value over here. Yeah, here we go, 12, 12. 
yeah there is more value to to get in these regions i guess a lot of that is oh, okay so this is a trade node that does not that nothing flows out of okay but even here uh, not a lot is being sent forward nine yeah it, it seems like the further east you go well, actually no these eastern provinces have like no trade alexandria has a decent bit though eh. But there's definitely a lot more trade there, and Carthage as well is a center. Rome as well is doing fine. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but it really does look like we're living in one of the poorest areas. Although Spain is getting more wealthy. Uh, it has grown, it seems. So uh, we definitely need to invest in uh, Spanish conquest in an effort to drive trade towards this region. You know, we we essentially we are we are the rivals of the Carthaginians here. Uh, the, uh, presumably, the Carthaginians have trade power, quite a bit of it, in Spain. No, actually, no, they have barely anything. Emporion has all of the trade. <laughs> really? Fuck! I want to take Emporion now because if they can get fourteen percent from one dumb little province, then that's pretty good. It might be because they uh, they have their capital here, uh, so presumably the the Carthaginians don't. Uh, and I don't really know if that impacts your trade power, but if it does, then that would explain why the Carthaginians are not doing too well there. Also, why why do we have like this construction symbol instead of a, uh, instead of someone converting? I guess maybe they did it. Like either it's a bug or they did it in order to um, uh, because they don't have sprites for like Greco-Roman conversion people, so they uh, they just use this instead. Because I, I do, I guess it, it is true that it would be a bit dumb to have um, to have like a priest trying to convert people. Although uh, I don't know, uh, does the priest sprite have a cross on him? Because if, if if it does have a cross on him, then obviously it would be a bit silly. Ooh, trade protection against the Romans. We can wage war on Rome. Yeah, Rome has been expanding. Uh, so who knows? Maybe maybe an invasion of Rome at some point to secure our trade trade routes and shit. Uh, trade flows to Rome though and not to us, so uh, we won't really be able to gain much trade stuff from it. Although I think the Romans by default have some trade power here. Yeah, they do. So I think if we force them to give us half their trade power, we would get 2% more. Which would make a difference. And look at that though, we have 21% 20, now, so we're definitely gaining. Yeah, I guess the conquest of this place definitely made a difference. Slave market of Massalia. Nice. Gain money and people get salty though, or the yeah, I, presumably the slaves get salty. But luckily we got the event in a province that is not very salty right now. And as a result, um, we are purely just gaining cash and bonuses that boost their income. So I'm starting to wonder, it, may, it might just be worth it to harsh treatment these guys. Because the revolt race is getting so low at this point that they might never revolt would obviously be sweet if they bothered or if they just didn't yeah I think maybe I think it's gonna be worth it because um, put our treatment because uh, that basically like lets me stop maintaining my army which is gonna save me a decent bit of cash Ooh, getting some admin power says so the thing though do we do we really want to try and go for the um, the spawn of the advanced metallurgy because I've been looking around a bit, and let's see, trade goods. Obviously, it, it's hmm. I'm not entirely sure. Like the, the 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 menu says that it's any metallic goods. Like a province need a metallic trade good, and it needs to be the year blah blah blah, and you need development at least sixteen. Spread this hmm. in a province. Like, does this mean that? the the nation as a whole needs to have development 16 although I think maybe what it's confusing here is the fact that we have a developing development 18 province so I guess it gives it a, it gives it a check but um, so if we somehow change this province trade good to uh, something metallic then it would presumably work but like is it very is it random uh, is it random where it spawns like, because I haven't seen that many other provinces that have metallic trade goods that um, have 16 development. So the overall development in this mod is very low. 
And in high development areas, there aren't really any metal to speak of. Ten, so there are definitely some decent places, but it's not very common that you find high development metallic provinces. Although obviously there are other types of metals, and that's sort of what I'm wondering here. Because we have a 19 development gold province in Lydia, so like, does that count? Is like obviously uh, gold is a metal, but does it does it count as a uh, metallic province? Sadly, this is a mod, so I feel like I can't just Google this shit on the wiki, you know? 14 there. So that's almost it. And I, I mean, silver as well. Silver just counts as gold, I think, in this mod. Like, it's it's a it's a good that just gives you money directly. Also, there, I know there's, there's actually silver down here, I noticed. So we totally need to go down there and get some of that cash. Although we have really high inflation, though, so maybe you should be a bit careful about that. I've gotten a decent bit of bad events like that. Although presumably what is also a big thing is that there's probably going to be a lot of metals in China or uh, 16 development provinces in China so the odds of it spawning over there are probably also reasonably high which would be super fucking annoying because then we will literally be on the other side of the world <laughs> uh, it would take so long for it to spread to us although I don't know how, how fast do these things spread uh, Yeah, I mean, that's another argument for not having China in this mod. It, um... Because, like, I, I get I get the whole, like... Like, in, in Europe Universalis, it sort of makes more sense, because, like, it's supposed to have you... Like, developments are supposed to sort of spawn in Europe and then spread. Uh, but the problem here is you have sort of two different parts of the world. China and, you know, the Middle East and... You know... Rome and like you have a lot of areas that are sort of equal when it comes to you know advances and technology and shit like that so it's sort of weird that it has to start in just one you should have you should be able to get more than one spawning locations for your institutions I mean maybe you can I don't know I I, I need to what I need to read the dev diary for <laughs> for institutions again because I obviously have not I obviously do not know entirely how the system works now we're not in uh, 20, uh, 240 yet though, so I, I want to boost development here. And another sort of funny mechanic in this game is that you can literally double the size of a city overnight because fuck realism, <laughs> you know? Uh, that is sort of silly. But it is what it is, so what are you going to do? That's why I'm also looking forward to Mayu and Taxes 2.0. Because uh, it'll, it'll totally replace this really stupid uh, development system. I mean, a lot of people might like the development system. It's just... And I'm just being grumpy and annoyed by it. But, you know... I feel like I have my reasons. Because it, it forces you to do dumb shit like this. Like, you know... Ah, oh, yes, a, a coastal trading town with important links to the world. It's going to be stuck at 15 development the entire game. While completely randomly, a random province right beside that will just... BAM! Get 16 development. It's like, what? Why? The Scholars of Massalia. Very nice. Gain some Diplo power. I guess that's fine. Not, very, not a very big bonus, so exactly how important it is, I do not know, but whatever. Sorry, these guys still being salty? Yeah, they're being salty. Ah, the Revoltry has actually gone up. I don't know how that came to be, but whatever. Maybe spending military points on harsh treatment wasn't that smart, because I might need to use the these points on this province right here. You know, I, I really should go look up the uh, the institutions dev diary before, or just information on the institutions before I make any decisions. Because as I said earlier, this is the first time I actually play with institutions, so I am not really sure what I'm doing here. I did, a, I did a quick bit of googling around to see if I could find some specific information about uh, how institutions work and I don't think I've misunderstood something completely. The only thing I was not able to figure out was the thing that I really want to know. Which I, I, I am, I'm uncertain like how how is the exact spawn position of um, the new institution decided? Like is it completely random or is it determined by certain other factors? Like. Is uh, is 16 development the minimum, and then the further I develop the province, the more likely I am to get the institution? 
or is it determined uh, completely by random? Like any province that fulfills the criteria will just randomly be given out the institution. Uh, obviously, I, I just can't see China right now. I mean, I could just cheat <laughs> to to see it, but um, cheating is um, cheating is bad, guy. Okay? So yeah, I don't know if I want to do that. Also, Judea has spawned. Interesting. Guess that some warps made that happen. I don't know. But uh, yeah, so I mean, I, I think we're just going to do that. We're just going to try and bump this one up to 16 development. Shouldn't be overly expensive. And then we'll just see um, whether or not we'll get the institution. Maybe uh, I think I'll end the episode here. So thanks so much for watching this episode, etc. But uh, I might do some more Googling in between episodes to see if I can find some more information. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. And until next time, bye.